so this is the mock interview day 47 so we already completed 46 mock interviews but whoever watching this video on youtube right you can check out that uh, 46 mock interviews just go to the playlist section and check devops interview question and answers so thank you all for joining this for this mock interview and please uh, whoever watching this uh, video on youtube please like this video so if i get at least 50 likes right we will get notification and we will continue this mocks so if i will daily upload more interviews if you give me more likes on this video so yeah hi anseti can you please introduce yourself Uh, Anseti, you are on mute. Am I audible? Yeah, Anseti, you are audible. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay, okay. Yeah, please introduce yourself. Thank you for giving this opportunity. My name is Anisati Venkatesh, a DevOps engineer with five years of experience, currently working at Pretech Software Private Limited in Kondapur, Hyderabad. My skill set, including extensive expertise in AWS for cloud infrastructure management and Git for version control. I'm well versed in continuous integration and using deployment. Jenkins along with build automation through Maven. I have experience with core quality and security tools like SonarCube and JFrog as well as management using Ansible. I work with the containerization with Docker and Kubernetes for orchestrating and scaling applications. My proficiency infrastructure as a code through use of my Terraform. Additional, I am shell scripting in automate task, utilize Prometheus and Grafana, monitoring, visualization. My background accuses me drive to efficiency and reliable DevOps in any dynamic environment. That's it from my side. So, yeah, you are eating so many words in between. So, you said management, but it is not a management, it is a configuration management. So, your introduction is like... Uh, you are just going hurriedly. I think uh, still you are using the script, right? You are not. Uh, yes, I'm preparing some words in a different language. Okay, right now you just delivered like from your uh, like brain memory, or like do you have in front of you any script? I just only one. I, I, I'm speaking only. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, okay, but yeah, you are eating some words and you are just uh, completing this introduction in hurriedly. So it is not quite realistic, yeah, definitely. And you can tell, you, you can start with I am, right? I am on a city. So, okay, thank you giving opportunity, you are telling, but right word is thank you for giving me an opportunity. Okay. So you can skip that. Thank you and all. You can start fr from I am. Okay. Okay. So anyone want to try the introduction part? Definitely. Raghava or Saitej, if you want to try, definitely you can give the introduction part. Then after we can continue. If you are interested. If not, we will jump into the enter your questions let me try Pavel. okay don't reveal your okay. information okay 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 yeah i am saiteja uh, i have four years of experience as a devops engineer and i have good experience of working with various devops tools like git jenkins docker kubernetes terraform and ansible and i have experience of working with uh, jenkins uh, to write Experience writing Jenkins files for CAC automation that includes automating stuff from build to deployment. And I have experience of writing Docker files to create Docker images and doing containerization of applications and then deploying them into the Kubernetes cluster. 
I do not various manifest files uh, that are required for deploying applications in Kubernetes cluster. Uh, majority of the my work is into monitoring running applications in Kubernetes cluster and making sure that they are continuously up and running for the clients who are accessing it. This is what majorly I have been into my experience as a DevOps engineer. Super. So yeah, Anisati, you got it right. How he has delivered the introduction? Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. So, Correct me, Pavan, if I'm getting wrong. So there is no feedback for you, so I said uh, uh, everything is perfect. Yeah. Thank you. You want to try Ragwa? Yes. Hi. Go uh, ahead. Hi, this Ragwa. Um, um, hi, this Ragwa. Um, coming to my background, um, um, I worked on um, um, uh, DevOps, uh, DevOps, uh, and Dev, Dev, DevOps, DevSecOps. Um, so, um, uh, I uh, for version control we are using Git and uh, GitHub, um, and Git, uh, Git and GitHub for uh, version control and uh, uh, for uh, uh, for build uh, for building the applications we are using a uh, uh, CI um, uh, CI CD pipelines uh, in CI we are using a uh, for uh, um, Jenkins and GitHub uh, uh, actions and. Um, for CD, we are using uh, uh, Jenkins X as well as um, uh, uh, as well as um, 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 Hades, uh, um So uh, once my CI/CD uh, pipeline is uh, built, uh, then we um, then uh, then we deploy uh, using a uh, um, container, uh, con uh, containers Docker containers, uh, which is managed by the Kubernetes orchestration. Um, so uh, Kubernetes orchestration uh, in Kubernetes orchestration. Uh, so we are using uh, EKS and EKS uh, on uh, on AWS cloud. We are using uh, multiple services like uh, um, uh, like Lambdas, uh, S3 buckets, and um, S3 buckets and uh, ECS and e ECS EKS and uh, some uh, several other services. And uh, coming to uh, uh, monitoring, I've been using um, uh, Splunk and uh, Splunk and uh, 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 Prometheus and Grafana uh, for uh, monitoring and uh, monitoring and managing the um, environment. So yeah, yeah, Raghav, like you are taking too much gaps in the introduction and. Uh, so you need to continue with the flow and there are too too many gaps so you should not do that and you are repeating the words as well and a confidence is miss, missing on your introduction and i can clearly say that you are not prepared for an interview like for suppose if someone asks me suddenly yeah hi joseph this is six, uh, this is joseph uh, i have total six plus years experience as a devops engineer Right now, I'm working on so-and-so company. So coming to my roles and responsibilities, I worked on multiple tools in DevOps, which includes Git, Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, and Ansible. So as a source code management tool, I'm using Git for continuous integration and delivery. Right, we are using Jenkins. For containerization, I am uh, utilizing Docker. And coming to orchestrating these containers, we are using Kubernetes. So I have expertise in Docker and Kubernetes. I can work on Docker. So I, I got an opportunity to work on Docker to write a Docker files. Out of it, I used to create a Docker images. And using the Docker images, we used to store the Docker images into a private registry. Then we will deploy it into the Kubernetes cluster. So recently, we have implemented a, a deployment tool, which, which is a CD tool. So in place of Jenkins, we are using Argo CD to deploy our application automatically and to maintain this uh, auto scale like uh, automatical deployment so using an argo cd and uh, so recently uh, we have uh, got an opportunity to create a testing environment in uh, aws cloud so we have used terraform so using terraform i have created vpc public subnets and private subnets internet gateways road tables 
and uh, I've deployed web servers, databases. Okay, coming to pub public subnet, in, in, I've deployed uh, application load balancers in the public subnet. In the private subnets, I've deployed the databases and all. So that's what uh, about me, and thank you for giving me an opportunity. So this is just a flow. I didn't even prepare my introduction part. Okay, I'm just thinking and I'm just answering. So if I prepared, definitely I can perform well. But yeah, whatever I know, I'm just delivered the introduction part. But if I prepared some script and if I follow that script, I might be perform a little bit better. Okay, if anyone want to give me any feedback, feel free to give it. So I will try to improve. anyone yeah it is totally good your flow is and uh, very confidently it's a uh, opposite person easy understand you have some experience and uh, those tools and uh, easily attract with you oh, thank you so much for that yeah still uh, i know like i will i will have some gaps but uh, yeah definitely i will go going to improve size do you want to give any feedback no bone, you are good bone. No. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Shall we continue with the mock interview? Yes. Okay. Uh, today's mock interview basically on Ansible. So the major focus will be on the Ansible. Okay. What is Ansible? How does it work? Simple question. Yeah, it is open source tool. Yes, you are right. It is a uh, agentless uh, Ansible, and uh, we connected to SSH. So whatever you are telling, right? It, it's correct, but you are just taking gaps, and the like whatever the delivering, right? It's not in a perfect manner. Okay. 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 You are just. Uh, telling the straightforward answer so as i repeated multiple times opposite person is a kid he don't know anything you need to explain so ansible is agent lens we will connect using ssh so this will not get give you a good feedback for the interviewer so you are taking gap in between saitej do you know what is ansible and how does it work? Ragwa? Take one of the infrastructure support like I'm audible, right? Okay. So it is one of the okay, okay. So yeah, I say it's like, do you know what is Ansible and how does it work? Uh, it's like a configuration management tool, a power like which is used to automate the tasks. Uh, like it's like infrastructure as a core tool. Infrastructure as a code tool and configuration management. Yes, you are right. So using Ansible, we can uh, able to set up the infrastructure as well. But main purpose for Ansible is configuration. Okay. You using Ansible, you can create infra as well. But Ansible was mainly built for configuration. Okay. So if so others right you can just google it in between if someone is answering it in between you will be ha having the time you can google it and you can try to answer you can add some more points as well so how does it work you know you said uh, ansible is configuration management oh, i got it but how it will work um don't know not sure honestly
Yeah, it is automated to the task. Same thing, like you are just giving straightforward answer. As I said, right, you need to explain. It is automated tool. I know it is an automated tool, but I'm asking you how it will work. Ragwa, you want to add something? Yeah. Uh, so Ansible is a configuration management tool where uh, we um, 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 try, try uh, where we write some playbooks uh, uh, to automate the task. Super. So uh, uh, so uh, where we uh, uh, where the task uh, I mean we have a, a, um, I mean um, playbooks uh, playbooks and roles. Uh, so with help of that uh, we are able to automate the uh, task. Uh, so, so using Ansible, uh, um, we can uh, uh, set up a new, uh, I mean, um, configure the new infrastructure. Um, so it is also used as an infrastructure as a code. So you are right. You said how Ansible will work. OK. So what is what? Sorry, what Ansible will do, you said. But how does it work? using ssh through ssh it will communicate with the nodes it's agentless it's agentless and use a ssh yeah ansible is a push based man configuration management tool so master will communicate with the node it will execute the tasks okay let's continue to next question so what is an ansible playbook now explain what is an ansible playbook what is the purpose of that what you will do with Ansible Playbook. Anyone want to add? So if you participate, this mock will be like, a, this was created for you, not for, for me. I know the concepts. You Ansible Playbook is a file containing set of instruction for automate task and remote hostings. So yeah, honestly, whatever you are delivering, perfect. You are super, but it's not in uh, like your communication is a little bit uh, lagging. It is like you are reading something. So you can yeah. Google it and you can take it. But you need to tell in a structured manner. Okay. Okay. You just repeat it once again, whatever you said. Ansible playbook is a file that contains set of instruction for automating task on a remote hosts. So yeah, Ansible is just a text file where you will have uh, give the instructions to run the tasks on that particular nodes. Yes. So and the Ansible playbook will be in the format of AML. Okay. So whatever you said, it's oh, it's perfect, but there is a little bit uh, missing in that. It's like uh, you are reading something. You need to speak a little bit confidently. So how do you create an inventory file in Ansible? So what is an inventory okay. file? Okay. And how do you create it? What is the purpose of inventory file? I mean, we used to edit some host names like IP address SSH. Yes, yes you are right. And Seti, you want to add something? In in the meantime, right, you can utilize the Google if you don't know. I just need your participation, that's it. In the re If you don't participate yet in the real interview, obviously you will not participate. This is the mock interview you will be having everything you can utilize the google in the real interview you will not get a chance but if you google it right in the real interview whenever you answer it you will just get back this right you will get back this situation so or on that day when he asked me i just google it okay this is the answer for that like that you will yes. get it so answer you want to tell how do you create an inventory file? Ansible automate task, we created some nodes. Ansible automate task, we create nodes. 
so you can check uh, like communication like it is not a not at all good the word arrangement okay. right you are eating some words am i right saitej or uh, i spoke some words okay don't take it in uh, negative uncertainty no 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 it's i'm not taking i'm taking to very positive end yeah inventory is nothing but a simple file in that we will define the ip addresses of the nodes so ansible playbook will be executed on that particular servers and it will get the information from the inventory file simple thing if i tell you with real life example i will order something from amazon okay when i order something in amazon how delivery agent will come to my home using an address okay now how ansible master will come to my right how ansible master will go to the nodes needs ansible master need an address so that address information will be stored in the inventory file so that address will be the ip address of that particular node so using that ip address it will log in into that node it will execute the tasks how it will execute using a playbook but first it will check the information about the node right when i order when i will get the product product getting the product is secondary but finding the address is the primary task okay now let's continue to next like how do you run a playbook how do you run a playbook you are tell ask, tell told me what is inventory file what is playbook what is ansible but you need to know how to run a playbook right then only your task will be executed so do you know how to run a playbook in anyone no one knows how to run an ansible playbook it's provide the playbook inventory files and uh, ansible playbook minus i okay that's it and also Some playbook amazon So Raghava, you know? Yeah, it's uh, Ansible playbook uh, hyphen i uh, inventory file and playbook dot yaml. Yes, you are right. So Ansible playbook minus i inventory file name and the playbook name dot yml. That's it. Okay, this is the command. In Nana. Now, what are handlers in Ansible? Anyone want to try? What are handlers? How do you use variables in Ansible? what are roles in ansible automate task uh, parts of it environment roles sorry come again in ansible roles are uh, the way organize and uh, package automation task per uh, specific parts of an it environment S specific parts of it environment uh, i didn't get anyone want to try roles uh, those are used to organize playbooks and tasks into a structured way super 
So honestly, whatever you said, if you compare with size, whatever size uh, set, right, you will get it. So he de he has told the answer in an understanding format, and it is a re in real life manner. So you are yeah. will be you are just reading some definition. So it should not be like a definition. So you need to answer it in real time manner. Okay. So your answer is correct. I am not telling you are wrong. But whatever you are checking in the Google, right? You need to convert that into a your own real time manner, and you need to you need to understand first thing. You need to understand the concept. Then after you can answer it easily. Okay. Explain how Ansible Vault works. Like, what is the purpose of Ansible Vault? To store some sensitive information like passwords, uh, SSH keys. Yes, you are right. Okay. If someone want to add, definitely you can add. It's okay if Saitaj is answering. You should not sit idle. Ansible, Whatever he said, that you can repeat it. Yeah, Ansible Vault is used to uh, store any passwords and secret management. Yeah, right. It's okay if Saitaj is repeated. You can also repeat the same thing so that you will have the practice. That's it. So Raghav, you are right. Uh, how do you handle add importance in Ansible? By maintaining the playbooks. Let's check the answer in few minutes. Do you know what is add importance? Uh, you can Google it. Yeah, just like yesterday, like Terraform, we discussed like us creating, having the same uh, state yes of, if you use calculator if you enter 2 plus 2 thousand times will you get 5 or 4 4 4 itself no you have typed thousand times right at least one time it will get 5 right at least no. one time it will definitely give 5 right no no so that is what item is. Even though if you enter thousand times, you will get the correct value. Like how calculator is giving the correct one, Ansible playbook will also work in that particular, right, in that manner. How do you check syntax in an Ansible playbook? What is the command to check the syntax? What are the playbook AML file you have written? Is it correct or not? You need to check the syntax, right? So how you will check that? In Terraform, you can check using validate, but in Ansible, how you will check that? Yeah, um, we have some website that AML, AML dot com. You're wrong. Uh, YAML linting before. Sorry. YAML linting. YAML? YAML linting. No, I am not, not get it. Lint, like, uh, like same like uh, uh, cloud formation, CF lint, uh, we have YAML lint, right? So no, using no, YAML I am just asking you about Ansible playbook. I am not asking you about the AML. How do you check syntax in an Ansible playbook? I think we need to add the, add it in the command. I can, I can syntax check. Yes, you are right. Ansible playbook minus minus syntax check. Then automatically it will just check your syntax. Explain the difference between when and register in Ansible. What is the purpose of when and what is the purpose of register? So the complexity will going to increase. Okay, tomorrow don't expect uh, right basic questions. We will go in depth in Ansible. 
now the in depth concept has started difference between when and register okay how would you use ansible pull what is ansible galaxy anyone want to add something anyone want to try you need to fast you can use the google right you can google it you can answer it's a Ans ansible galaxy is a free online platform yes you are right answer you are now your communication is perfect yeah go ahead but you should not stop you need to answer yeah it is a community hub uh, to download the share ansible content okay so ansible galaxy is a, a place where we can uh, reuse uh, reuse ansible roles and collections damn yet yeah, you are right ragava so like this you need to answer on city so i want what what is ansible galaxy then you what ansible galaxy will do what will contain in ansible galaxy so normally in ansible galaxy you will be having the roles predefined roles which are created by some community so you can utilize that roles and for reusability you can utilize that roles and you can perform the tasks and ansible galaxy is an what you said you are right first you said it's an community like website using that it is like a website where you will find multiple roles okay so what is the purpose of become directive in ansible in ansible playbook you will define become right what's the purpose of that simple question if you are if you know ansible you will easily answer how do you use loops in ansible shall we check the answers you do you want to try or shall we check the answers am i audible yes paul yes, yes you are audible yeah try to answer like i have asked you something right it's okay you are not a, not answering my questions loop is to put a multiple input and uh, different multiple input okay execute the task with multiple Okay, shall we check the answers for all the questions? Yes. Yeah, I am expected this answer. Yes or no? Something you need to tell. Then only I will get it. What is an Ansible? How does it work? Ansible is an open source configuration management, provisioning, and application deployment tool. It uses SSH for communication and execute tasks based on playbook written in AML. So, what is example installing software packages right configuring servers and restarting services this is the task which will be done by ansible so what is an ansible playbook a playbook is a haml file that contains a series of tasks for ansible to execute on a host this is the example host tasks module nginx straight present how do you create an inventory file in ansible inventory file right list to the host where tasks to be executed they can be static or dynamic like this you will define the inventory file so how do you run a playbook ansible playbook playbook.yml what are handlers in ansible handlers are triggered at the end of a task to restart or notify a service 
if a task change of the system state so restarting nginx after installation so if you see where task name apt nginx state present so if there is a change in the nginx version then i can add a handler to restart that what are roles in ansible so roles are way to group related tasks variables files templates and handlers into reusable components so ansible galaxy in it you can create your own roles this is the command ansible vault work ansible vault encrypts sensitive data like passwords and secrets so whatever someone has answered this question it i think saitej i think so you are right yes. you can create the vault okay ansible vault create and you can give the file name how do you handle item potency in ansible item potency ensures that running a task multiple times doesn't change the system state after the first run that's what i said right even in the like calculator how do you check syntax in an ansible playbook ansible playbook minus minus syntax check playbook.yml saitej you are right explain the difference between when and register so when applies condition to tasks register stores the result of a command for later use that is the difference how would you use ansible pull ansible pull allows nodes to pull configurations from the, the central repository okay ansible pull minus u the repository So what is Ansible Galaxy? Ansible Galaxy is a tool for downloading and sharing pre-built roles. I told you right, which was created by someone else. So what is the purpose of become directory in Ansible? It allows privilege and exclusion for tasks that requires root access. If you want to run your playbook as a root user, you can use become s. Simple one, but no one has tried. Loops also same. If you want to install multiple packages at a time, you can use a loop. Okay, Ansible loops allows you to repeat tasks with different items. Okay, app name item state present. I can give loop. So first Nginx will be installed. Then after Git will be installed. Then after curl will be installed. Like this, it will take one by one. That is the loop. Right. So that's it for this mock interview. I will stop the recording.